In this video, you will learn how to manage enterprise workload using CA Workload Automation DE Web Client. CA Workload Automation DE Web Client is a web-based graphical user interface to define enterprise workload in your local language and manage it across different geographical locations. The web client includes a personalized dashboard that helps business executive VPs and operations teams manage by exception and quickly access downstream business impact. With a touch-friendly interface, you can easily access the workload and quickly respond to exceptional situations anywhere. This flow diagram describes the tasks that we will do in this demonstration to define, monitor, and control the workload. Let us first log into the web client as a scheduler. Enter the login credentials. For this demonstration, let us leave the default alias name of the server that the web client connects to. The web client is logged in with the dashboard as the landing page. Next, let us see how to define the workload in the Define view. To define the workload, you must define an application and the required jobs within the application. An application is a logical container for jobs that are run by agents. For example, you can group all your payroll jobs in one application and use an event to run the application on the last workday of each month. Let us navigate to the Define view to define the application. Enter the application name. Next, specify the application properties. Select the agent that runs the jobs in the application. Let us leave the default run frequency. Next, add the jobs to the application. Select the category that represents the jobs you want to add. The jobs of the selected category appear in the job palette. To add the jobs, select the job in the job palette and then drag and drop it into the application workspace. Next, draw the dependencies between the jobs. Next, define the job details for each job. By default, all the jobs display the agent name you specified in the application properties. For this job, leave the default value. Similarly, all the jobs display the run frequency you specified in the application properties. For this job, leave the default value. Update the job details of the remaining jobs. After updating the details of all the jobs, let us save the application. Note that the application is saved. Next, upload the application to the server. Note that the application is defined successfully. Now that you have defined the workload, let us see how to schedule it using the default event. When you define a new application, the web client defines a default date time manual event. You can use this event to schedule the application or run the application manually. For this demonstration, let us run the application manually by triggering the event. Leave the Schedule Criteria field blank so that the application is run immediately. Note that the event is triggered to run the application. 
As the application is going to run immediately, it should now be available in the monitor view. So let us now monitor the active workload by navigating to the monitor applications view. Using the monitor applications view, you can monitor the state, view the details, or issue control commands against the application or the jobs within the application. The monitor applications view lists all the active application generations. To locate the application that you want, you can use the search functionality. Type the search keyword, press the enter key, and click the search icon. Open the application by clicking the application name. The application monitor view displays the application state, its details, and the graphical view. You can also view the details of the job by clicking on the job. While the application is being processed, let us see how to monitor the active workload from the personalized dashboard. Using the dashboard, you can view the real-time information about the status of all active jobs and business applications. You can also personalize the dashboard by creating a watch list or pin business critical applications that you want to monitor regularly. Let us add the application to the watch list and also pin it to the dashboard. Navigate to the dashboard to see the status of the application and its job in real time. Note that the watch list displays the status of the active jobs in the application. Note that the pins view displays the runtime details of the application. Now that you have learned how to define and monitor the workload, let us conclude the demonstration by seeing how to control the active workload from the application monitor view. Navigate to the application monitor view by clicking the application name. The application is currently in the processing state. For this demonstration, let us force complete the active application and its jobs by issuing a complete application control command. Note that the application and all of its jobs are completed successfully. In this video, you have learned how to manage enterprise workload using CA Workload Automation DE Web Client. Thank you for watching.